Hi everybody, this is Virgil Carroll from High Monkey Consultant. Uh, starting off kind of a new series of video posts we're going to be doing uh, entitled Monkey Bites. And what are Monkey Bites? Well, they're basically some simple, easy tasks we can do to make some difference in our SharePoint installations around um, usability because people who've heard me speak know I'm a big user experience guy and believe that well we shouldn't just have systems at work but we should actually have systems at work and people can use all at the same time. I know crazy concept but that's where we're trying to go so okay, so the first kind of series that we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit around the new 2010 calendar that we have out there um, Microsoft put a good amount of effort in kind of making a new calendar out there uh, interface to be able to kind of do some cooler things out there and, and some of the things really excite me from a user perspective so we're gonna kind of talk about that so what you're gonna see in front of here is uh, you're gonna see kind of your atypical screen that you'd see from a calendar you'll see that we're looking at October 2010 and we're looking at all these different events that have happened out here the reality is where this is very nice and I'm able to see a lot of events there's also a lot to be left to desire from this screen because things have different topics different reasons that they're on this calendar and looking at it in one view our eyes just have a really hard time separating those different segments um, and that's kind of where one of the newer perspectives come in the calendar overlay where we get an opportunity to be able to pull in multiple things from multiple calendars and look at them all in one view and also different colors now I just want to mention one thing about our calendar that we have out here basically this is our sales and marketing calendar but let's go ahead and look at the list itself and one of the fields that you'll see that we actually have attached to these is responsible staff so for each of the events that we put out there we have responsible staff that are going to be the people that are actually assigned to these different events in there so uh, when we go back here it's great but from what this view what I can see I can't really tell what I'm assigned to in that so what we want to do is we want to take this calendar we want to make it look a little better we wanted to make it a little bit more user friendly so that we can do some different things so the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna kinda of look at the end result and this is really where we wanted to get to and being able to use a new calendar overlay we actually have some really cool things we're able to do here so I'm gonna go ahead and click on my ribbon on top and that's gonna get me to the calendar overlay screen and what you'll see here on the calendar overlay screen is that I have some very simple things I can do including adding new calendars now one of the limitations on these calendars is you can only add 10 calendars in that but one of the really cool things that I found reading blog posts and playing with it myself is that not only can you add other calendars as a roll up but you can also create views off one calendar and bring those in as well so you'll see that we've added about five different views on this calendar and one of the things that I wanted to do is my goal is say I want to understand what is assigned to me versus what's assigned to everyone else well the reality is is it even though I can very easily figure out what's assigned to me we're gonna do some little tricks to kinda of show you how you can show it all at once so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda of look at my stuff and you'll see that my stuff I would very easily added there and um, we have our SharePoint calendar in front of us and what we can do with this well you know as with all of them you're able to select a color and one of the things in this kind of from an administrator standpoint is going to be kind of rough is that you do have to copy and paste basically the full URL to where the calendar exists resolve it and then actually select the calendar but one of the cool things is once you've selected the calendar you can actually also select the view that has been created from that calendar to what it's going to be so for this one in particular I selected my stuff so when I look at the my stuff view itself one of the things that you'll see is what I've done is I've created a filter on this view off my calendar to where responsible staff that field where we assign people is equal to me so otherwise this view is only going to show me op things that were assigned to myself now one of the disadvantages of this and one of the problems that this can cause is that if we were to look on the other side well all the other views would kind of show things assigned to me as well so for my other views what I did like the client meeting view that you see here is I took those ones and I said where responsible staff is not equal to me in that so otherwise it's gonna show all my client meetings but all the client meetings that aren't assigned to me 
what does that bring us all together? Well, now we have this view here, this calendar, that very easily shows me the different things. So everything in kind of the pinkish red color is things that are assigned to me. So I'm gonna go on vacation, and I've got a marketing team lunch, and I have a widget demo, and I have all these things. And the things in the other colors are other things that my team's participating in, but not things that I'm directly responsible for. So I may still be involved in those events, and I still wanna be able to see those events on my calendar, but overall I want to be able to differentiate how those are from the things I'm assigned. So something very simple, very easy to do, and to make a much more valuable calendar for us. So that's it for the first uh, Monkey Bites. We look forward to many more.